Hello friends, welcome to Rajesh Data Engineering. In this video, I'm going to talk about PySpark transformations, subtract and accept all. These two transformations are quite similar to each other, but there is a little difference. So I'm going to cover what are these transformations and what is the usage of that? What is the difference for which use case we have to go for which transformation? Right. First of all, these two are nothing but PySpark transformations used in Spark development. And these transformations create new data frame by containing the records only from one data frame, which is not available in the second data frame. So basically, these transformations are used to identify the difference between two data frame. This is also one of the interview question. So the interviewer might ask how to find the difference between two data frames. Then we can use any of these functions depending on further input from the interviewer. Right. Coming to the difference, subtract basically while creating new data frame by retaining only the records from the first uh, data frame, it will not consider the duplicates. So it will remove even if you are having duplicate records, which is common between two data frame. But coming to accept all that is preserving duplicates. That is the major difference between these two functions. Let me explain uh, in a pictorial representation. Let's say we are having data frame one and data frame two. So if you look at product A100, that is common between these two data frame. Similarly, product uh, C200, that is also common between these two data frame. But only the difference is in the first data frame, this product C200, that is duplicated. So let us assume this is, this is our input data frame. And now our requirement is I need to find only the records from data set one, which are not available in data set two. For that, first we can go with subtract. So the subtract, what it will do is it will identify the common records. So in this case, the common records are nothing but product A100 and product C200. Now it will start uh, removing all these records from the first data frame. So coming to this one, first data frame, product A100, that is uh, part of the common record, yet, yes, it is available. Then it will remove that. And coming to the second record, product P and 50, that is not part of this common record, so it will retain that. And coming to the third record, product C200, that is again part of common record, then it will be eliminated. And coming to the fourth record, again, this product C200, that is part of common record, so it will be removed. And coming to the last one, product T and 150, it is not part of common record, then it is going to uh, retain. So in this way, the subtract function, it is going to give output of product P 50, product T 150. So which means these records, now these are the records coming from data set one, which are not present in data set two. I hope you understood. And coming to accept all, I can explain with same data set. We are having data frame one and data frame two, and there are common records product A100 and product C200. Now coming to accept all, it is going to uh, create common records, same like uh, subtract. But the here, the thing is, in case there is a duplicate, it will retain that duplicate. So it is going to work in the concept of uh, canceling each other. For example, here we are having one record product A100. Then it is going to find if uh, it is part of that first data frame. Yes, it is there. There is one entry. Then it is going to remove that. And similarly, you know, this record is eliminated from the common records now. Then the second record, product C200, then it is going to remove this entry also. But here we are having only one entry as a common. But in this first data frame, we are having two entry, but it cannot remove both the records. So it is canceling uh, the corresponding record, which means the first record that is canceling this one and the second record, this is canceling one entry for product C and 200. As a result, we are going to get product P50 and this product C200, product T150. So this is the major difference between accept all and subtract. Subtract, it will not retain the duplicate, but accept all, it uh, retains the duplicate while producing new data frame. I hope you understood. Coming to syntax, it's very simple syntax. So let's say we are having data frame one and data frame two. In order to find subtract, then we have to use the PySpark function subtract. DF1 dot subtract within the bracket, we need to give DF2. And it's um, same syntax for accept all as well. So instead of subtract, we have to use accept all. So A um, should be in uppercase. 
df1 dot except all then within the bracket we can give df2 i hope you understood uh, what is uh, subtract what is except all what is the difference between these two now i can uh, give a demo also uh, in databricks uh, notebook so let's get started with the demo so i have logged into databricks environment i have created my cluster and i have created my notebook also for this exercise so as a first step i'm going to create two sample data frame for this demo so i'm creating data set data 1 and data 2 and based on that i'm creating data frame source tf and target uh, df which is having columns product and quantity so this is a uh, same data set which i have shown in the powerpoint so let me execute this step so uh, at the end it is going to create the data frame then the next step i'm going to show you how it looks like so let me execute it has created the data frame let me display for our reference here we can see the output so for the first table that is containing product a 100 same available in second data frame also coming to product c 200 that is duplicated in the first data frame but it's only one entry in the second data frame and these are the common records now in order to find the difference between these two data frames which means i want to find only the records which are available in the first data frame but not available in the second data frame for that first i can go with uh, subtract which is not uh, preserving the duplicates so uh, syntax is very simple this is my source data frame and uh, this is my target data frame i have to use the pyspark transformation subtract then uh, display i am uh, displaying at the end of the execution let me execute here we can see uh, this is what exactly i have explained in the powerpoint so it is uh, not considering the duplicate even though we had uh, product c 202 times it has removed both the times so this is the resultant uh, output and coming to except all this is going to preserve this will uh, preserve the duplicate which means product uh, c 200 uh, that is available two times in first data frame so only one time it's available in the second data frame which means it is going to remove only one record of product c 200 so we will get uh, another product c 200 in our output so let me execute the syntax is uh, same here instead of uh, subtract we have to use uh, except all and source data frame dot except all within that we have to give a target data frame then finally i'm displaying for our reference let me execute this step the execution is completed now here we can see it is uh, giving only the records from the first data frame which are not available in the second data frame but uh, coming to product c 200 that is available in the second data frame but uh, the thing is it is available only once in the set, in the second data frame but uh, this record is available two times in the first uh, data frame that's the reason it is giving one entry of product c 200 in the output i hope you understood hope you enjoyed and like the uh, like this video if you like the content of this video please like and comment in the channel please subscribe this uh, channel and don't forget to click on the bell button to get uh, latest uh, updates and videos on databricks and spark concepts thank you